Hello everyone and welcome back to Omnum Omnivore here in Splore where I'm currently cooing over our blue spice colony which we have really worked very hard to get if you guys recall we had to search so many solar systems to finally find a planet that we would be able to plunk a colony down on just add water with those colony starter packs and it's actually a pretty decent distance away from uh, our actual home world if you look, our home world is way over here, and we can't even fly to our home world from this colony. And we have a few other colonies, uh, some of which will one day hopefully be of use to us, such as Alchemir, the pink spice planet. But so far, not so much use to us because we have been having to go around and have so many of our potential colonies stolen from us, and we're just not making a lot of moolah at this point. We're pretty poor as far as the Kimqua society goes. But I think today our luck is going to be turning around since we are going to be gathering up the blue spice we finally have from Planet Dandies here. In fact, let's go ahead and check out Dandies again to see if we can improve the terror score to add another little batch of uh, another colony maybe? I think we can actually... No, we need one more carnivore and then we can unlock another colony and then we can have more blue spice from this planet which would be fantastic because then we can have money and the key are so poor. Oh, look at that little island patch. That's so cool. Oh, it has some animals on it. Oh, look, it's those little poles with the little spikes on them. How adorable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I thought that wasn't animals. But it's actually the spice collecting dinosaur machine. And I, it, that's kind of cool. It's almost like they don't want to spook the wildlife. So they make all of their cars and vehicles look like other wildlife. That's kind of a cool little tactic to have on this planet, especially since we found some fossils here. So the houses here are actually fossils and dig sites. The factories are dig sites, the houses are big giant fossils, and we pretend this is a research colony. Pretty cool, huh? I like those little touches to kind of personalize the planets. But let's go look for a carnivore somewhere and see if we can manage to sell some of this blue spice that we have collected from this colony so far because it's honestly the only patch of worth in our entire empire. All right, and we're gonna go over here to the Eurant's uh, planet and see if there's a predator on it. And guys, when I was actually getting ready to start, I was looking at this planet going, does that planet seriously it does it have a name of Euro Dance? I thought it said the Euro Dance planet and that just cracked me up. Very pretty planet. It is also missing carnivores. So unfortunately, we need to add some fierce fangs into our Omnom Omnivore, perhaps now called Omnom Merchant. Uh, little patches of planets here, but we've got some cool spaces to explore actually. So <gasps> green, there's a green spice planet. Maybe I want that. <laughs> Let's go see if it's worth anything. Wow, lots of moons. Lots of moons, actually. And where's the green spice? Oh, we're on top of the green spice planet. Wow! Look at the double ring of asteroids. That's so pretty. Maybe I want to throw a colony down here really quickly just so we don't lose access to this entire solar system. Green spice would be another useful one to have. I think, I don't think we have a green spice planet yet. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this down. Can I terraform this place? If I added more atmosphere, I think I'd also have to cool it off, unfortunately, and I don't have the tools for that. But I wanted to claim it, even though that uses up one of our precious colony and credit packs, because we've really regretted not claiming a cool solar system. <laughs> and I really like that double asteroid belt. That's pretty awesome. And there's just a lot of cool spots that we might be able to put down uh, some scenic colonies next to these planets. I mean, they're big gas giants with really pretty rings. So maybe we could have like some cool scenic colonies on their moons. I mean, look at the view out your window. So cool. And you can wave to the other moon colony. That would be fun. We'll have to colonize this spot in a little bit. Incoming transmission from the Red Nose Ragnon Empire. Oh, do they have something to say to me? Is that the Red Nose Reindeer? And they're gonna they're gonna threaten me or something? Oh, it is the Red Nose Reindeer. Your insignificant civilization is of no use except as a source of cash. Pay us twenty thousand spore bucks, or learn to regret your very existence. And they're like really mutated versions of Red Nose Reindeer, and we're gonna ignore their demands. Nope. 
I might have to bomb them in the future because we do go the uh, both the friendly and the aggressive route since we are merchants now and we're interested in what makes us the most money and paying tribute at this point does not make us the most money. All right, so let's keep looking for a carnivore. That's task number one. All right, that's just trees. There's a few unclaimed spots we might want to look into before our good friends here. Hello, Steampunk Dragon Empire. Of course you would have the T3. Wait, maybe this is like their home planet? Do they want my blue spice for a lot? That's decent. Well, I'm gonna hold on to it just in case, actually. Uh, but is this T3 their home world? Let's check really quickly just to make sure. Wow! Hey now, look at all those gold crystals. This T3 is pretty, that's what it is. Oh, and they're gonna have, it's a T3, so they're gonna have carnivores. Of course, let's search for some carnivores here, but I like this. Is this their home world? This is their home world. We might have to see if we can trade it out from under their, uh, well, what do they have as steampunk dragons? Under their gears? I was gonna say feet, but I don't know if they really have feet because they're steampunk dragons. All right, let's grab our abduction beam and grab the first uh, most fangy looking uh, organism that we can find. Hmm. Oh, 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 what's this? What's this? What are these guys? Let's see. They look like big slugs. They're the bender snatches, and they are unfortunately herbivores. So let's go ahead and uh, you can you can go back now, buddy. There you go. All right. And they're, ooh, those look promising. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm so sorry. I realized that I, I, I picked up the plant and I realized that if I tried to, I'm so sorry, little guy. Okay, now we have the cloud temple sphinx and, and we'll be more gentle with it this time. Look at how beautiful that is by Scan Dreon 12 and I got all of these guys from the Sporepedia website which to this day years later is still up and all you have to do to download the creatures into your version of Spore is save the image file the .png which is what it saved as and put it into your Spore creation folder in your my documents and boom you too can have a cloud temple sphinx my friends very very useful all right so we're gonna take that little guy and we're gonna put down uh, well I guess I need two two I actually need two of them pardon me <gasps> what a cool little mushroom looking bush thing I would totally love to get one of those in the future but let me see if I can find some more of those cloud temple sphinx things um, because I need to put down two one for one world and one for the other whoop let's back it up a little bit Oh wow, oh wow, look at some of those cow guys. They would be great for fertilizing the fields of some of our Kimquas forest. Since the Kimqua collect pollen that they actually use in order to survive and grow. Aha, uh -huh, there's some cloud temple sphinxes. And so our interest in creatures isn't so much for eating them. It is in the interest of uh, can we use that creature to fertilize our fields and to take care of the ecosystem of the flowers and forest we collect pollen from to, and nectar to eat as the quimqua. All right, so we're gonna pop back up to our blue planet, which has a nice amount of blue spice waiting for us. Fantastic. We'll have to get another colony in Credipac pretty soon. All right, let's go ahead and put down the Cloud Temple Sphinxes. Welcome to your new home, my little ecological niche feeling friend. Let's see, niche I should say. All right, yeah, we have a colony slot open now and if we cool the planet off a little bit, then we should be able to terraform it one last time. Though, oh man, my cargo space is so limited. <laughs> I'm so used to being the Finna and I'm so used to being uh, the big giant um, Leopli who actually showed up as a possible carnivore to eat us in our Kimqua Let's Play, which is amazing. But I'm so used to being those two, I didn't realize we had such limited space. That's not fun. There we go. There you are, my little cloud temple phoenix. Uh, you are going to actually 
have a lot of those little warthog things and something else to eat. They have never known the threat of predation, and I have just introduced the first carnivore onto the whole planet, which completes the ecosystem, but it's not a very good day for the poor little warthogs, so I feel a bit badly for them. All right, let's go grab this blue spice. We'll sell it. And uh, we might poke around space a little bit. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely am sort of feeling like doing a bit of exploring. However, we do want to come down here. I think these guys will both buy our spice for more swore bucks, and they also sell the colony and credit packs. Ah, they won't. They do sell the colony and credit packs for a lot cheaper, though. So let's see if I can find somewhere to sell our blue spice that will accept the best price. Let's see. Let's pop over here. Whole bunch of red spice. Don't mind if I do. No, 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 not interested right now. I don't want to. I don't want to do those. Um, not interested right now. I'd like to ask you something else. I don't want to do the beam down quest just this moment. I'm not quite in the mood for that. All right, and then let's see how our little colony is doing. We need to terraform some more so I can get my hands. Ooh, there's something hiding here. Has our colony found some sort of relic or ruin that we can excavate? All right, let's see. Yeah, they're not going to buy anything from us for a good price. But apparently there's something on this planet. Oh, it's a planet sculpting tool. All right, we can grab that even with the full inventory. And the sky or orangeizer. <laughs> so we can make the sky orange here. Why not? Let's go for it. There's not much of a solar system. But we did get the Planet Artiste badge, which now allows us to unlock the Terra Craters and the Terra Hills. Not bad. And now the sky gets to be orange. This poor colony just has to sit here and not really do much. So I try to give them what I can. <laughs> poor guys. All right, let's see. Who, oh, who is going to accept all of my, my spice for a good price? And then we'll do some exploring and maybe some terraforming. Hmm, come here, buddy. Because we do... Dang it. Nobody is buying my spice for a good price. I take it back. Where's my little steampunk dragons? I'll sell it to you for 13000 I take it all back. Here we go. Trade. What? No, not 4000 No! What has my greed and hubris brought upon my head? Alright, let's try this one. Alright, come on. And I can't purchase the system. There's just no way. I don't have enough money. All right, so these guys will actually buy it for decent. There we go. I mean, I could try to purchase the system. I literally don't have enough money. That's so embarrassing. I used my special ability. I spread propaganda all over the place. I told them how cool I was and that I'm totally worth letting buy the system. And then I don't, I show up with empty pockets. Oh dear. All right, well, maybe we'll find some sort of cool loot on this planet. Our radar is beeping at us. We might have to focus on being artifact collectors to make the most of our money at the moment. And we'll try we'll try unlocking a whole bunch more of the um, T-scores. Ooh, another planet. Planet decor tool. Planet artiste tool. But we'll try unlocking and we can make a sea of green. Why not? There we go. Wait, was that another blip? Is there something else here? Okay, we just changed the seas to green. That's kind of fun. But we'll try fixing up the terror score on some planets too, because the more we unlock the terror score, the more tools we will have available to us and the more we can affect the terror score, darn it, this terror score is fine. But the more we can affect the terror score of our planets, then the more colonies we can put down and the more money we can make. So there actually is a financial reason, being at the Kimqua, we're quite concerned about that, to, uh, to upgrading terror scores. And the reason being that when you do it, you can unlock new tools. We need to unlock the tools that will let us not have to buy the ice storm and the meteor storm and the drought generator, but just use our energy to be able to change uh, change the temperature and the atmosphere on a planet. Once we can unlock that ability, which happens to be my favorite in Spore, by the way, then we can go ahead and upgrade all of our colonies a lot faster, get tons of money, and start spreading through this galaxy. Look at how much there is to explore. 
All right, in fact, let's go do some exploring. I'm feeling like exploring. We'll, we'll just like try to take care of planets on our way. We'll search for some artifacts on our way. Here's this planet. Let's see if we can improve the terrorist score. We're just gonna be chucking down. Oh man, if only I had more predators. Do I have any, why do I, there we go. We have a carnivore. I'm gonna be leaving the seven headed or the three headed earth dragons all over the place. And actually the creator of the three headed earth dragon left some comments in one of our past videos, which was really cool. And I, I can't remember how I can check how far along I am on, this is our captain, by the way, recruiter colonizer, Liz Qua. Uh, but I can't remember how to check how far along we are on like different badges. But there's a way to see like where you're at. Uh, not the terraforming and mini badge. I don't think it's history. Yeah, there's a way to see somewhere where you are currently at on your badges so that you can actually kind of figure out what more you need to do in order to unlock some of the special abilities. All right, let's see. We might be able to terraform this planet or we might find treasure. So let's see. Yeah, we could do some terraforming. All right, and we'll grab this. This is kind of an interesting planet. Sort of dusty. We'll add in some, it needs some rivers. Ooh, let's come over to this big giant lake and make a really cool crystal river to jazz up the, uh, the look of the place. What do you think? Look at that. Wow, what a cool canyon. That was cool. And then over here, it's actually got this really awesome plateau. Isn't that awesome? Nice. I love finding places like this where it's just beautiful and the planets have just randomly been created over time and much computer code to be really awesome like this. All right, we'll go ahead and leave some goals here. There's enough food to sustain some herbivores. We'll leave some doves here. And we will leave some of the three-headed earth dragons here. Dun dun dun! And we have now upgraded another ecosystem, which will hopefully get us those ecosystem tools soon. Ah, oh, I really miss having all of those special abilities. All right, let's see. Oh no, and some of these things are like way outside of my search range. Fooey. Hmm. Which direction do we need to go? I guess if I go this way, I might be able to do a little bit more exploring. All right, what about, there we go. Jump. Ooh, and there's some animals over here. Ooh, there's some treasure. Artifact hunting is like the only way to go at the moment. All right, anything? What's this? No objects were detected on the planet. Strange, something's not right here. Oh no, it's an ambush. It's pirates. They're coming for me. Get out of here, pirates. Get out of here, drop your money. Drop your wallets. Drop thy wallets. I need the money. Aw oh, man, they were poor pirates. They didn't even have anything like left and they just left me with like 777 on the help. Oh well, at least I can leave behind some of our three headed earth dragons, which we are just like spreading through the whole galaxy. Are those some doves? The dove horses? Huh. No, they're ice horses! Okay, those are cool. I'm gonna abduct this herd of ice horses and we'll go ahead and spread those around the universe. That's really fun. All right, so unfortunately that was pirates, not buried treasure that was going to make us super rich. But we are rapidly terraforming and we are rapidly exploring in search of hopefully some useful, let's go ahead and leave, maybe let's put a mega horse down here. But we are in search of some useful spots that we could possibly claim as colonies. Yes, so I'll just do badge. Give me special abilities, bioprotector and monolith. Not quite what I wanted, but at least it's doing something. I need to figure out how to open up my badges. I know that there's a place, there's somewhere, is it my collections? Yeah, here it is, okay. And here inside of the badges, we can figure out how we can unlock different things, like basic cargo hold, one more artifact. That's a reason to find another artifact because then we can have a larger cargo hold, which would be very useful. And being able to have lasers would be good. Interstellar drive two. So we need to complete delivery missions uh, in order to do that. And don't want the Joker badge, which means that you've used a cheat code. Hmm. Hmm. 
Mm, mini bomb would be useful, but we might want... There it is! The Empire! Oh, man! We need to expand to two more solar systems in order to unlock the Ice Storm, Cloud Vacuum, Cloud Accumulator, and the Meteor Shower. So we actually need to go back and we need to get two more colonies and we need to put down two more colonies in order to be able to unlock the ability <laughs> to put down those Meteor Storms and things like that. So see, I knew going and finding the badges would be super useful. All right, let's just take a peek at what's over here. Nothing super rare. Oh, something super rare in spice. Purple spice. <gasps> I don't know if we have a purple spice planet anywhere yet. Okay, we've got to come back and put our colony down there. One of our two choice colonies that we need to create. All right, what's going on over here? Oh, oh, it's a T3. Wow, it's a really weird looking T3 with like Venus flytrap and wow. We might want to get that monolith and uplift this group. Is that an artifact? We're gonna raid. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my gosh, look, it's right outside of a city. We're gonna steal a city artifact. This is so cool. Dun 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 dun. A blue geode. And now we can have a basic hold. Thank goodness. And we might actually come back with a monolith and uplift this group after we've. Oh, wait, there's more treasure. You're kidding. What? What? There's another artifact, guys! Look, it's hiding past these cool mushroom trees. It's a scroll of something something. Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of these trees. And then, what do we just- Oh, the roots of the Book of Science! We might be able to sell that to somebody for quite a bit. That's so cool! We just raided this planet for like everything it had to offer. Awesome! We might uplift them in the future and see if we can buy that planet out from under them. But for now, we need to make some wise investments, like to our health, <laughs> in order to be able- Oh, I should probably come over here and- And yeah, I'm gonna run out of energy. No, this was the wrong- this was the wrong system to visit. I was trying to visit this system. Yay, we got the Fragrant Flyer Badge! Yay, we can do Interstellar Drive too. Yes! See, I knew- we need to be like- we need to be like little scouts going out and collecting up our badges because that is how we will unlock all of the abilities that we need for the Kimqua to be able to really get into all sorts of misadventures. All right, let's go ahead and sell these guys our red spice for 13,000. Don't mind if I do. And uh, we'll just see what we can do with the Blue Geode and the Book of Science. We need to find a group who believes in the philosophy of science. Because once you do, then you'll really be able to start working with them to... Um, then you'll really be able to start like selling it for a lot of money. That's what I was trying to say. I'm so tickled. I'm so excited because we just got a whole bunch of the things we needed. Like this group is the Book of Science. What do you believe? And how much are you willing to risk on that belief? Would you rather risk your existence and the existence of your species on a hunch? A whim? The word of a prophet a thousand years dead? Dun 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 dun! The Book of Science Part 1. So okay, we're gonna sell it to them for a ton of money. And we are going to buy two colony and credit packs at a steep discount. Dun dun dun! And once we get those down, we will have the terraforming tools we need, my friends. We're also going to get the interstellar drive because that's available from them. And now we will actually be able... They're so excited! And they have so many teeth when they're so excited! Nice to see you, my my empire! Yes, I'm glad you're so happy. They probably have a lot to talk about with that book of science. Uh, and let's actually pop over to the steampunks and see if they have anything special that we can buy from them. Let's trade. Nope, not at the moment. They do have a black wormhole key though. And I think we can get the basic... There we go, tell me... No, 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 I'm not interested right now, but I want to talk to you about something else. And we're gonna see... If we can get, yes, the small health upgrade, the basic cargo upgrade, and the mini auto blaster, who can automatically start blasting those pirates if we ever run into them again. Let's go ahead and get the, yeah, basic cargo hold. And then I'm gonna hold out so we can get the small health in the future. But look at that, guys. We now have a little bit more room to shove all of those alien species that we research straight into. Ah, it looks like there might be hope for the Kimqua Empire after all. So we're going to go ahead and expand said Kimqua Empire and try to start really racking up the spore bucks next time. So I'll see you guys then.
Bye-bye.